Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a look and taking a ride out in a 640 brake horsepower supercharged E92 M3. If you haven't watched the other video where the car was on the dyno, I'll link it down below. But I'm just waiting for John to get here, we'll have a look around the car, we'll go out for a drive and we'll experience that mad power. Right, so we're in the car with John, uh, we're in the supercharged M3. It was a bit of a pain to get in, but we're nice and snug now, so we're all good. We're just going to head out for a bit of a drive, just so we can experience the 650, 640 brake horsepower, isn't it? 643, last 643. time. 643. Um, John was just saying that you can't really hear the supercharger too much, which is a silent one, which, you know, it's not a bad thing, because it, it's, all, it's not quiet at all, but we're just going to head out now. We've got Jack in the uh, Fiesta ST next to us, this ST200. How long have you had it then, John? Um, I've had it two years, well, just over two years now. What did you, you say you had before this? Um, I had a 911 996 Porsche. Um, yes. Nice car, but just didn't have the power of this. <laughs> I can imagine it's a bit of a handful. You say that you don't really drive it unless it's dry or... Yeah, it has to be dry. Even with Toyos on, well, they are a dry weather tyre, so <coughs> it does need to be dry to put power down. What, what's the package that it's got on it? It's ESS, isn't it? Yeah, it's um, it's a California company. Uh, I bought the car with it already on. It's um, the Stage 2 um, 625 kit ESS VT2, I think it is. Um, and then the next one above that is the stage three, which is an extra 25 horsepower. That's meant to give you 650. But um, with the exhaust system that's on this, it's, well, like I said, 643. Um, that's probably down to the D-cats as well. Yeah, nice, nice. Like I say, just a bit too, probably a bit too loud <laughs> as an everyday drive. But. Yeah, no, it's, it's a lovely car. I mean, we, if you haven't seen the video, like I say, I'll, I'll drop a, a link down below to the, the AET one where this car was on the dyno. Um, it was ridiculously loud, everything was flapping because it was windy and uh, yeah, it was a brilliant little car, I say it's little. What, what does it fare with speed bumps like this one then, is it? Oh, it's, it's not too bad because it's got the, the GTS front lip, that throws it down quite a bit lower. Um, when I installed the, the coilovers, the KWs, I took it to the same, I had lowering springs on before the, the past owner had had lowering springs and I just kind of took it to the same height as that and it's it's not too bad. Not too bad. No. I, didn't really, I thought it was an automatic as well, it's a manual isn't it? Yeah. Purist. Well, yeah. It's, um, I, I did actually drive the double clutch transmission one and I do prefer it, but a lot of people go down the manual route when they're supercharging just because the box is apparently stronger. Um, if you're going to supercharge the double clutch transmission one, um, there's more strengthening and needs to go in the box, which I think is an additional six thousand pound. Right. Then you've got to, if you're doing track time, you've got to um, cool the diff as well, which I think right. is an extra six hundred pounds. So you're talking near on seven seven grand before you even spend the ten grand on the charger. So <laughs> makes an expensive deal. How does it feel on track? Fantastic. Um, I only did Donington. Um, Obviously, all mods I'd done to it. By the time I'd done them, it was coming out of summer, so I managed to get on track at Donington, and uh, fant absolutely fantastic. Put a smile on my face. Uh, I had people queuing up for a run out in it every time I kept coming back in pit lanes. But yeah, it just it, it it felt it felt nice. It felt planted. 
it is a head turner though, isn't it? I mean, we were just, um, I was just doing a couple of a couple of shots, what you just saw back then, and we had a family of about eight or nine, didn't they, come yeah. up to it and wanted to look around it, and they were looking around Jack's Fiesta with the, the multicoloured halo lights, yeah. um, and it definitely grabbed attention. I mean, have you got any other plans for this now, or is this, is this as it is, is this what you want to um, leave it? I'm really, really happy um, with the mods I've done to it. Just uh, the supercharger now. Yeah, it's, but it says, oh, it's just under 2,000, isn't it? Yeah. But would you prefer it to be an all-out? Yeah, well, I, yeah, yeah I think everyone and, would, yeah. The sound, they sound unbelievable, don't they? I mean, I, I, I haven't had much experience with superchargers before in terms of like, the different specs and stuff, but is it the pull, is that made the difference? And... Um, I, I, no, I, don't, I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone said about them being sealed or unsealed, so I don't know what that means. Going to Bawtry now, that's like quite a well-to-do area. Yeah, that's where they do all the races, isn't it, Bawtry? Uh, no, but they do, it's like supercar city. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Like when it's when it's nice weather, there's all bars and stuff like that, and like, you all get a few supercars there, hypercars cars and that, it's decent. Drive, I think it's just too loud. I know we can talk and it's it's not too loud, but like I say, on the motorway, it just gets crackers how loud it is. Because it's a six speed, isn't it? So, yeah, uh, when it's 70 miles an hour, you won't be too high in red, red, would you? But Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, very fast, I mean. Yeah. What's 
top speed 100 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think I've ever hit that though. <laughs> no, it, it's a different power, isn't it? Yeah. I love turbo power, yeah. but it's, a, it's different to that, isn't it? Yeah, it? the way you described it to a VTEC as well, it, it it does. It does feel similar to what you'd get in a Honda, yeah. like the, the endless amount of power and the higher you go, the more power you've got. Yeah. Talking about how like the, the new BMW, um, I think it's I don't know what model it is. The, the M5 that was at yeah. 80, 700 brake horsepower from standard, um, not 16, probably under three seconds. Yeah, fairly the four wheel drive as well. I, th I think you're gonna you get to a point now where there's a transition between you look at a Mark 5 GTI from what 2006 or something, 200 brake horsepower. Everyone loved that because yeah. it was quick. And then the Golf R came out in 2000, or it was announced in 2013. 300 brake horsepower, people were losing their minds. Yeah. And now you've got A45s with 450, you've got RS3s with 430, 440, whatever they're coming out with. And the bars are just being raised and raised and raised, aren't they? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a good time to be a car enthusiast, I think. Definitely. You've got all of these, all of these different things coming out. And I was just saying, you, you, you'll get super saloon with a thousand horsepower soon. Yeah. Straight out of the factory. Yeah. yeah, and they'll just do silly speeds. It's probably still be limited to 155, 155. Yeah, gentlemen's game. Um, <laughs> but I mean, just I can't, I can't even describe this. To be fair, I'm not often speechless. You know, I normally <laughs> have something to say about a lot of things, but the way it picks up, I, I can't. I just can't describe it. You can understand why I say it's a dry weather car. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. But the way it grips as well, it's, I know obviously you're running on sort of an R8s, but it just, it's like glue, isn't it? When, you, when you've got the right weather. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm guessing that the tyres would be a little bit warmer now. Yeah. Um, some of the roads are drying out, so obviously you have a better grip on them, but... Yeah. See, if all the roads were just like... This, you'd be bang on. Yeah. yeah. So I'm still not pushing to cut when it's greasy. So it's been going sideways before I've not realised till I backed off at power. And then you straightened up. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, and then just kind of just get a little wiggle. So I said, just leave it in traction. But these are apparently um, when I went to Donington, talking to one of my mates who's got a uh, Golf R. He used to have one of these, but it got stolen. Not a supercharged one. And he said there's a dynamic driving mode, so basically it'll give like something like 30% of slip, but yeah. then traction will kick in. So yeah. it's, that's probably more suited for track. I'm not the best driver. I'm, I enjoy driving, but and I'm all right on track, but nothing spectacular. So I'd never take it all off. It's just well, this is the thing. I've had plenty of discussions with people about you can be a fast driver on road, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be a fast driver on track. No, no, and vice versa as well. Like obviously with every man racing, I on the road and I'll, you know, my ass will start falling out as soon as yeah, I yeah. <laughs> If you want to do it right, you don't take it on track, don't you? Yeah, I mean, you, you've got all the variables of normal road driving, like bumps and like changes in tarmac and stuff like that, but... Charging them is quite a common thing over yeah. there. It's just kind of coming over to England now. I wonder if anybody's supercharged the V10 M5. 
yeah, I'm sure they have. I'm sure ESS, if you go on ESS website, I'm sure. Um, yeah, the, the old, the older shit. So it's, um, I don't know, probably what you'd get, like an 07 plate. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have, yeah. In fact, I follow them on Instagram. Fuck, that's someone else you can follow. Yeah, yeah, I'll follow them. Yeah. I mean, how long are you planning on keeping it? Is it a long-term thing for you, or? I don't, it, it? I don't know. I'd, I'd, I, I like something a bit more civilized. Um, I'd love to have an R8 as well. Mm. Yeah. But uh, Bank says no at the minute. So. <laughs>
will want tweaking. I might have it set too hard up front, too soft up back, whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think what I've, what I've noticed as well, speaking to quite a few people, is the little, the little settings can make the difference as well, kind yeah, of, with the traction yeah. and with the way it behaves when you, you're driving about and stuff. I'll try and do a bit of this. We'll leave it village for it's not too bad. <laughs> guys so that was John the supercharged M3 E92 what an absolute machine that thing is there's so much work done to it that I couldn't even I couldn't even get through it all with him but yeah so it's an ESS stage 2 it's a 625 pack it's got the half cage in it's got the rear seats out Toyo proxies R triple eights remember if you enjoyed this type of video and you like that car and you like the sound of it drop a comment down below leave a like subscribe to the channel and until next time, I'll see you then.